with the latest and greatest. You are now free to travel as far as Alati Sea Haven. You keep making those payments, and we keep unlocking Sea Havens. Go forth, Heartfolk, and conquer the sea! She talks like I'm not even here. I guess that's kind of sexist, isn't it? You go forth too, hearty woman folk, and conquer the sea as well! Oh, I've never been to sea before. Seriously? You gotta check it out. The sea is um, It's so big, and large, and grand! Luger, let's go conquer the sea! <sighs> about what happened. I don't suppose I could bribe my way back into your good graces. What are these? Winged boots. Just a little something something to lighten your load and make you love me again. What are you talking about? <laughs> a star reporter like you ought to be able to figure it out. By the way, an agent from Spurious is staying at the inn here. Toodles. Maybe she should be a reporter. What do you want? Uh, uh, where does it hurt? I'm a doctor. We've confirmed your arrival at Aladi Sea Haven. Recover the data from the pursuit agent and return to Company HQ. Sorry about that. Here's the data. But these poor people! Recovering the data is your top priority. Bring it to HQ immediately. What's so special about it? It's a copy of all the fractured dimension data that the former director Kresnik had collected and analyzed. Huh? Fractured dimension? So you had a run-in with Julius? Yes. We had him outnumbered ten to one, and yet he still decimated us. But at least we got the data off him. Get it back to HQ. It'll really help us improve our ability to detect waymarkers. You all go on ahead. I'll take care of these people. Need a hand, Princess? I prefer the company of Rowan, thank you. This old geezer would be honored to help, young mistress. <laughs> Good thing I have thick skin. They beat up his former co-workers, huh? I want to believe he had a good reason, but... Ugh.
place is huge! <laughs> We've been expecting you, Mr. Kresnik. Please deliver the item in question directly to the CEO himself. Look at this place! It's so big and pretty! Indoor voice, Leia. Who are these people? I believe only Mr. Kresnik was invited. What a package deal! I'm Luger's friend. An advisor. And I'm the acting guardian of these miners. I'm acting guardian number two. And I'm... I'm... Acting guardian of this kitty. <coughs> One moment, please. Acting guardian number two, huh? Look who's talking. All of you may enter. Mr. Bakur is most impressed by the loyalty you engender in others, Mr. Kresnik. Why, Luger, I've been waiting for you. Thanks. Any leads on your brother's whereabouts? Well, as it turns out, I have news for you of both varieties. Good and bad. Which one first? Mr. Kresnik's going on the police's most wanted list. <laughs> your life's about to get a lot tougher. So they're gonna throw Luger in jail? Wasn't there good news? Indeed, I would like to recruit you as an agent in our company. <laughs> Don't act so surprised. It makes perfect sense. I've been keeping my eye on you this whole time. You never back down from difficult situations. More importantly, you have the strength to face them. I'd wager you've been doing more than just keeping an eye on him. You've been testing Luger. You can't get the true measure of a man by observing from a distance. What do you say? Become one of my agents, and I'll keep the police off your back. Even if I have to get pushed. He doesn't even have a choice. This is blackmail. I failed to mention that an agent's salary is considerable. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. You can avoid arrest and pay off that massive loan almost overnight, provided you show me results, of course. <gasps> what kind of results? No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? Think of this flower as our prime dimension, a world where history flows in a way that's familiar to us. But it's not the only blossom. There are offshoots. When one of these appears, it disperses soul energy from the prime dimension. Our dimension, in other words. Wait, it disperses? That can't be good. And what happens if we don't do anything about it? Ultimately, souls will vanish from the Prime Dimension. Of course, this means humans will die out as well. Whoa, whoa, time out. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. Olympias going dry, the failure of Spyrite technology. What if I were to tell you those effects were caused by the loss of soul energy from the Prime Dimension? It can't be true. Oh, but it is. <sighs> Spirius has been working to save our world by eliminating its counterparts in the fractured dimensions. How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <sighs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. Luger, for think of this world, the true world. You must. He was.
is the best of the best. Julius eliminated more than a hundred fractured dimensions. We believe it's very likely that former director Kresnik has fled into one such dimension. Find him and you'll kill three birds with one stone. <laughs> That's a good lad. You're officially a DODA agent of Spirius. One thing I still don't get. What's causing these fractured dimensions? It's not a what, it's a who. A great spirit of Canaan. Kronos. The land of Canaan? Another great spirit? There is nothing here. We have in our possession the power needed to oppose him. Come to the underground training area, and I will show you how to wield it. I have to admit, being an agent for the Spirius Corporation is kind of a big deal. But are you sure about this? Your brother was a top agent too, right? I bet that talent just runs in the Kresnik family. What, a talent for destroying worlds? I'm talking about talent. Companies appreciate that stuff. I wish I had that. Bisley Bacor certainly lives up to his reputation. He certainly makes an impression. He's like... That's not far from the truth. Bacor casts a heavy shadow over the world of Olympian politics. If he wanted to, he could probably topple the government or single-handedly start his own war. I've been reading back issues of the paper. And it seemed like the Spirius Corporation was a driving force behind the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But as soon as the schism was destroyed, they immediately switched sides to back Marcia's moderate government. I wonder what they hope to achieve with change. This doesn't sound like King I've ever heard of. Well, regardless, he's Luger's boss now. Let's just make sure the one's using him and not the other way around. That makes sense. We can't accomplish much without him. But be careful. I don't think that Bakur was lying, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't telling us everything either. I agree. How does Beasley know about Luger's power? Not exactly the tailored suits and financial reports sort of CEO, huh? <laughs> Never thought something like this would be down here. Must have cost Spirius a pretty penny. <laughs> Steal yourself, Agent. I wish we could ease into this, but time is of the essence. You'll have to train the hard way. Actual combat. <laughs> Don't interfere. Let's <laughs> go. 
That's enough for now. Still no match for Julius, though. So that's a Chromatis. Where'd Luger learn that trick? It's a family trait. He's one of Kresnik's descendants. See his watch? It's a Kresnik heirloom, passed down for generations. It's the key to the transformation. Though it would seem Julius has been using yours all this time. That's not Luger's. It's my daddy's. We're talking about Kresnik, the Genesis Sage, right? The one who wielded the Lance of Will? The Sage Kresnik? Yes, I seem to recall that name from Rize Maxian legend. So the tale is different here in Olympias? If Kresnik wasn't a Sage, what was he? A wretched plaything for the spirits. They granted... No, they cursed the Kresnik line with the Chromatis. But Kresnik's curse is humanity's weapon. And you, Luger, will master it. I will contact you when we detect a new fractured dimension. Until then, tough. Look, Luger, I really hate to bring this up, but you've been neglecting your loan payments lately. Nobody likes a financial deadbeat. So much for resting up. Transform away your debt, huh? Yeah. Looks like you've gotten a little stronger, Luger. All thanks to Lo, I bet. <laughs> a great spirit that lives in the land of Canaan. We gotta find this Chrono Sky and ask him where Canaan is. You're really obsessed with that place, aren't you? What's wrong with that? I've got a one track mind. <laughs> You do? But sometimes you shouldn't pursue things too intently. Like how a woman can stifle a man with too much attention when, in reality, he just needs a little space to sow his wild oats. Alvin! You're telling this to a child? You want to know what my daddy said? Don't ask anyone for anything that you wouldn't be willing to give them yourself. Ooh. 
Yeah, he's right. That was always my problem. Right? And you sure love your daddy. I don't love him that much, but he really seems to like me. So, I've got to keep the promise I made to him, no matter what. Just a moment, I almost forgot to get your world map. It's standard issue for all DODA agents. I'm sure it will come in handy in your pursuit of Director Kres... Pardon me, the former Director Kresnik. Wallet's honey bun. I do have needs, you know. Huh? We have a meeting? Crap! I'll call you back. <laughs> 